starting here this afternoon. Let's take a look at our Chief Cherokee starting lineups, and you saw Quentin Gooden's name, uh, of course, on the bottom of the screen right there in the center. Kyle Castlin, a graduate transfer. And then I feel like this Xavier team is definitely taking strides. Xavier in white, Oakland in black, and we are underway at Centaur Center. Oakland three and four on the season with their wins coming against Defiance, James Madison, and Oral Roberts. Cumberland trying to find Hill Mays down low. Pops it out to Norris. He can shoot it. Cumberland lets it fly. Misses well short. Cumberland's a good story. He's grew up about 45 minutes from here, and he can play. There, there's no question there's talent on this Oakland team. Yeah, I don't think Paul Scruggs. He's, we talk about some of the returning guys. He played a little bit last year, more than just a little bit, and a talented guy that is a little bit of a matchup issue with a bigger body guard. How about Hill Mays, the 6'7 Redford redshirt junior from Greensboro, North Carolina. We said he could score, and we're going to see it today. Can do a little bit of everything. Good in the post with his back to the basket. Can obviously knock down the three ball. Norris, the freshman. And now Hill Mays on the block. Norris looks for the shot. Cumberland. A lot of three-pointers from this team, but they can work it inside as Hill Mays gets the bounce. A really talented scorer. You're seeing a little bit of everything from him right now. I think he's at his best in the post when he can get a guy like Najee Marshall on him where he's definitely got a strength and weight advantage. Tyreek Jones, so good in the paint. Draws the foul, and he'll shoot a couple. The head coach of the Xavier Musketeers in his first year as the head coach is Travis Steele. Spent nine years in as, a, as an assistant to Chris Mack. Of course, Mack went on to Louisville. Steele, 37 years old. But you and I were at practice yesterday. It felt like old times. You, you saw a lot of similarities between Travis Steele and Chris Mack. A lot of the terminology is the same. I know we're in football mode right now. Travis Steele was kind of like the offensive coordinator under Chris Mack. So a lot of the terminology in the system stayed the same on offense. That helps the transition in terms of having a new coach with these players. Tyreek Jones makes both free throws. Oakland is a team that lost literally everything from a year ago as Cumberland knocks down the three-pointer. Eight minutes average returned from last year's team to this year's team. You got, you got a guy on the sidelines for Oakland that's been doing this for 35 years, and he said he's never had a situation quite like this. Turnover against the Musketeers, and there's a good look at Greg Campy, the head coach of Oakland, and as Nick mentioned, 35 years in the same program. Wow. And again, so think about the amount of time, and for him to say he's never had a situation like this, he, said, he even said it's almost like taking over a new program. That's coming from a guy that's been at the same place for 35 years. Brechting looked at the three, but Xavier's done a nice job defensively. Long three on the way, and Cumberland knocks it in. Uh -oh. A couple of threes back-to-back -back for Cumberland. But Hill Mays holding that shoulder. That is the most indispensable player on Oakland's roster, but take another look at it. You knew you knew Cumberland would be aggressive because of the proximity from his hometown. He was going to come in here and have his foot on the gas. And he's got it going early, and Oakland has a rolling, but certainly going to keep an eye on Xavier Hill Mays here as that shoulder could be problematic. He's already wearing the face guard after having his nose broken in the game against UNLV earlier this season. A player that Oakland can ill afford to lose. Strong drive by Castlin, and he draws the foul. And Castlin, the Columbia grad transfer. All you need to know about him, Vince, he arrived in July in Cincinnati. And within about five to six weeks, he was voted captain by his teammates. So you're talking about a guy that made an impact immediately on that locker room. 
pretty cool story for Kyle Castle. And a graduate from Columba, uh, Columbia, where he majored in psychology and African-American studies. So education-wise, he's got his, <laughs> his uh, T's crossed and I's dotted. Well done, young man. He utilized that psychology major to use some psychology on that locker room to prove that he's the leader. But he, he's a guy, listen, his, his stats aren't going to wow you. But Travis Steele said, you watch the film, he's in the right spots. He's doing the right thing. He's executing. And for a roster built like Xavier's, you need a guy like Castle. That foul, by the way, was on Brechting, and that is his second. So James Beck has come into the game for Oakland. And in transition, Quentin Gooden lays it with the left. Can't get it. Offensive rebound, Jones. And now Gooden for three. Jones going to be called for over the back. His first foul. Did you see Gooden there? Short arm the free throw, or the layup, excuse me. Yeah, his shoulder is, is, is still bothering him a little bit. And I think you see it in moments like that where he maybe can't quite extend that arm all the way up to be able to finish. He didn't but, practice for a month prior to the season. Missed the first game of the season after separating that shoulder during practice. But he told us it's getting better. Yeah, each week it's getting better. He said that he thought by the time conference play rolled around, he'd be 100%. Hankins has come into the game for Xavier, and Hill Mays took it right to him. But Hill Mays, much bigger in person than he looks on film. He is... Got a low center of gravity, a good feel with his back to the basket. Good player. Marshall looked at it, lost the handle, and a whistle and a foul against Oakland. Foul you, you on James it. Beck, that's his first. You think about Xavier's schedule. They've played Ethan Happ. And I, I think the experience of playing Ethan Happ will help in guarding Hill Mays because well, Ethan Happ is a is a, a much more accomplished player. They both are good with their back to the basket. And sometimes that's unconventional nowadays to see guys like that. Najee Marshall gets his first bucket. Five point Oakland lead. Both these teams can shoot the three. Both can score in the paint. Good matchup. They both want to get after you defensively, but that's an area where both teams have struggled at times this season. And, and oftentimes, the defensive end of the floor can be a work in progress when you're filling so many spots. Hankins blocked it, and Scruggs comes up with the loose ball. The big step and the finish. Paul Scruggs. Well, he may be from Indianapolis, but he hit him with the Euro step on that one. Scruggs, when he's going downhill, is dynamite. Norris, long three, missed it. And a whistle and a foul on the ground. That's been true through the first almost five minutes of this thing. But oftentimes, the first media timeout is when you can see some adjustments made on both ends. Hill Mays on the dribble. He's got seven already, averages almost 25. And he reached for that shoulder again. He's, he's bumped it. He's done something to it. But we saw him reach and, and favor it earlier, and he just reached for it again after that shot. Certainly something to keep an eye on because he, he's giving Xavier fits right now. I mean, there's been Hankins on him, Marshall on him, Tyreek Jones on him. There, Paul Scruggs got switched on to him. And he's just kind of taken what the matchup has told him to, whether to take him inside or take him outside. 77% free throw shooter. Substitutions for Xavier. Wellich and Kennedy coming into the game. There's something that Xavier worked on a lot, Vince, yesterday was trapping the post. So something to keep an eye on at home is when Hill Mays gets the ball to the block, if multiple defenders come after him, you see if Xavier can scramble out of that and not give up wide open threes. Switch it up the defense a little bit, has Oakland. They'll switch it up a little bit. The corner for Wellich. The one thing he can do is shoot the basketball. The all-time leading three-point shooter in San Jose 
State history. Uh, he can really fill it up. 161 made threes in his career there. And a whistle and a foul. Going against Oakland. James Beck will pick it up. Now, Wellich is an interesting story. An outstanding high school player in Indiana goes to San Jose State, puts up some respectable numbers there, and a grad transfer here to give a little shot in the arm to the offensive Xavier. My, my, my line is always, shooters are like bacon. They make everything better. <laughs> and Wellich can shoot. And so you put him on any team, and he's going to be able to fit in. And you see his fingerprints put on the game already. Whenever Oakland goes to the zone, Wellish is going to have to look to score. He's got another one. There he is. Nice feed and a finish for Hankins. First basket for Hankins, the Division II National Player of the Year a season ago. And that's where Xavier's got to punk Oakland on the glass. And answering is Hill Mays. Boy, is he as good as advertised or what? Talk about a guy that averages almost 25 points per game. Light it up early. You know, the game he broke his nose against UNLV, he had 29 points in 22 minutes before getting injured. Hankins again. Yeah, I, I like Scruggs with his back to the basket. A lot of guards are like a fish out of water there defended in the post, and Scruggs can pass from that spot. So he attracts two and finds Hankins. Back-to-back -back dunks for Hank and Xavier with eight points in the paint. Three is short. Hankins rebounds. The one thing Hankins can do is rebound. I mean, he is a post presence, and we've seen him finish, but he can really get it done on the defensive end. Three missed, and there is Hankins fighting for it, but Hill Mays comes away. Yeah, Hankins can do quite a bit. And we talked about the addition of Wellage to this Xavier team. How about Hankins? Yeah, I mean, his numbers have been really off the charts. I mean, his, his Division II team won a national championship, Fair State, and they went 38 and 1. Foul under firepower from a year ago. This is a team that has a lot of athleticism, and they can go deep. They've got one player, Elias Harden, who's maybe not going to play today because he's ill, but there's a lot of talent on this Xavier club. I like the pieces a lot. It's about piecing it together now and getting comfortable. Gooden on the bounce. Jones rebounds. And Xavier is in front. Wellich couldn't finish after the turnover. Xavier on a 13-5 run. It's got to go to Hill Mays. Every possession right now, if you're Oakland, he's got to get a touch. And there he is. A little short. Gooden grabbed the rebound and was fouled by Trey Maddox. That's the first on Maddox. And something you always like to do is make great scores work defensively. So if I'm Xavier, I'm going to try and make Xavier Hill Mays defend a bunch of ball screens, have to defend Duckins in the post with Tyreek Jones, really make him move around. He's already got his hands above his head. He's breathing heavy. Quentin Gooden. Directing that offense, and Nick, as you said, off the top of the show, he's kind of the engine that makes this Xavier club go. No question about it. Figuring out when to pass, when to distribute, when to score. And rebounding, a real issue for Oakland, and we've seen it here in the last few possessions as Xavier has gotten another offensive rebound, another opportunity. Some Travis Steele talked about yesterday was Xavier has to own the glass here this afternoon to win the game. Deontay Kennedy, the freshman, has to pick up the dribble, and now Wellage finds an opening. The reverse. Well, when you're such a good shooter, Vince, you've got to be there on the catch. And Wellage isn't overly dynamic putting the ball on the floor, but when guys try and run him off the three-point line like that, he's got to be able to put it on the deck a few times and go score. Now a 15-5 run for Xavier. The lead is just three, but it's the largest for the Musketeers. Got a mismatch with Wellich and Hill Mays. Norris! Braden Norris, the freshman from Hilliard, Ohio. 15 of 18 from three-point range this season is Norris. Making sure guys understand what's a good shot, what's not a good shot. 
And I think as those guys continue to figure out that, I think the percentages will increase. Five second call. Scruggs didn't get it in in time. Good defense from Oakland. Just the second turnover for Xavier. Travis Steele's club, three turnovers, only three giveaways in the last game against Miami. Which was a big difference from what it had looked like the first six games, because really turnovers have been an issue for Xavier so far. It was a big step in the right direction against Miami of Ohio. Got to make sure you're always making good decisions with the Rock. Oakland, five of nine from beyond the three-point line. They've taken care of business from outside the arc, and there is Hill Mays stepping back, and it's short. Rebound pulled down by Marshall. Najee Marshall does a little bit of everything for the Xavier team. Averages seven boards, and there's the freshman, Keontae Kennedy. Bill is a guy that can shoot a little bit. It's his fifth mate, three of the season. Spins and finishes. Did you see how Hill Mays just leaned on Jones, sensed that Jones was leaning forward and then used his momentum against him. Quick spin baseline and gets it off the window. I mean, Hill Mays has got great feel and savvy in the block. Already with 14 points. Kicking it around the horn. Wellage was there and looked and now pushes, misses. Jones, another rebound. This is exactly what Coach Champion was concerned about from Oakland's perspective, giving up too many second chance, second chance opportunities to Xavier. Uh, Jones is a guy that had 20 rebounds earlier this year against Evansville. I mean, he can eat some glass, and that's where he's got to think about changing this game. And Xavier really owning the paint right now with 14 of their 26 coming in the blue. Cumberland on the drive and a whistle and an offensive foul against Cumberland. So Jones gets the offensive rebound, put back on one end, and then comes back on the other end and draws the charge. Instincts defensively from Tyreek Jones. And, you know, leadership is a, is a little bit of a void right now for the Xavier team. Quentin Gooden trying to get outside of maybe his natural nature and being a little more talkative. But the guy that is vocal is Tyreek Jones. And it's always nice to have a big guy that talks because usually on the back line of the offense and defense, they can bark out and see the whole picture. Xavier by three under nine minutes in the first half. And how about that take by Nazi Marshall? And the, the potential on Marshall's off the charts. I mean, with the six, seven, long arms, can defend multiple positions. I mean, the sky's really the limit for a guy like Najee Marshall. I mean, is he the next star of this program? I think he is. I, I, I really believe that. I think where he can be a big star is defensively. Not a good closeout there. Hill Mays got a little push and couldn't get the basket. Scruggs on the dribble in transition. Marshall, he can shoot the three, but prefers the put on the floor and the dish to Jones. And it's the largest lead. Seven points for Xavier. So you gotta, gotta, gotta go to the guy that stops the bleeding. Hill Mays in the post. How about this matchup? Tyreek Jones and Xavier Hill Mays. You're talking about a couple of strong <laughs> bodies pushing on one another. Here we go. Scruggs getting out on the three-point shooter. Norris got to let it fly under three to shoot. Oh, he's on the road, but he got the home court bounce. The freshman. Second basket for Norris. A guy that shooting 75% from the floor coming into this afternoon. I mean, a coach's kid. Had to kind of force that one because of the shot clock situation, but boy, does he make good decisions. Marshall, the one-legger. Kind of taking things over, Vince, isn't he? Driving to the basket, all the way to the rim, a pass to Jones there, a little runner. It's been a good first half. Xavier starting to open up just a bit now with a seven-point advantage, but Oakland has been tough here on the road. The first of eight straight on the road for the Golden Grizzlies as Hill Mays scores again. He's got 16 points and has scored uh, eight straight, 16 or more at eight straight. Yeah, how pretty was that little face up off the window? Kind of a throwback player, can do a little bit of everything. 
Marshall again leans it and hits it with the left. Really good set from Travis Steele. Just create a lot of traffic for Marshall to hit a seam. Marshall's got eight points, and he's got three of the last four baskets for Xavier. Now see if the Musketeers can do it on the defensive end. Shot clock at five. Got to do something, and Hill May is the one you want with the ball in this situation. And a whistle and a foul, and it's going against Xavier. He will he not be it. on the bench long. Oakland and Black, Xavier and White. Six minutes left here in the first half. Cumberland almost got the slam put back, but lost the handle on it, and Hankins pulls down the rebound. Got to make some hay now if you're Xavier with Hill Mays sitting on the bench. Some more zone from Oakland. Xavier has dominated the paint today. A 22 to 6 advantage so far for the Musketeers. And what's the hardest thing to do in the zone? Rebound defensively. So when this shot goes up, got to be a lot of white jerseys crashing the glass. Shot clock at five. Scruggs, the leaner. Can't get the bounce, but there's Hankins. Well, how about that feel? Times the jump, hangs in the air. Really good play. Talking with Hankins yesterday, he said the biggest adjustment about coming here to Xavier was living in the big city here <laughs> in Cincinnati. He's from Charlevoix, Michigan, small town, played at Ferris State, small town. Now he's here at Xavier. He's adjusted just fine on the court. Yeah, and that's funny. D2 to D1, that's nothing. It's the big city. Oakland's Kamari Newman answers with a three-pointer. And just as Xavier is controlling the paint, Oakland's offense is coming from beyond the three-point line where they have been making their hay. And Newman, a George Mason transfer. Ten in black. Really talented shooter and scorer. Scruggs switched to the left hand. Couldn't get it down. There's a... Certainly fatigued, and so he was able to catch a long time on the bench to catch his breath. Yeah, I think they were going to actually have him sit out for a little bit, and now he has come back in because of the long break as they got the clock situation taken care of. Approaching the four-minute mark as the shot is short by Cumberland. A bad shot right there. Don't need it. If anybody who needs to be forcing shots, it's Hill Mays. Scruggs, the runner, missed it. Hankins offensive rebound, and that's Wellich. That is his game right there. Spot up and shoot the three. The two newcomers flexing their mus muscles, and Hankins immediately wanted to kick it to the perimeter on the offensive rebound. Second three-pointer for Wellich. He's got eight here this afternoon. Bill Mays now fouls. working on Hankins. And, yeah, you mentioned Hankins with those two fouls. So he's got to be a little bit cautious in defending it. And that's where Bill Mays needs to recognize that. And don't settle for fadeaways. Go right at Hankins when you get one-on-one -on -one post up opportunities. I've been surprised that there hasn't been more post doubles come, at least to give Hill Mays a different look when he's working in the block. Castlin, Gooden, and there's Wellich for three more. Missed it. Hankins got a hand on it and a whistle and a foul, and it's going against Oakland. Did Gonzaga squad, but very talented. But whenever Creighton's at home and the way they can score, you give them a chance to make things interesting. No doubt about it. Hankins makes the first of two. The grad transfer from Ferris State, as we mentioned, the Division II National Player of the Year a season ago, led Ferris State to the Division II National Championship. It's a 35 to 19 run for Xavier. I mean, they have turned this thing around to take a nine-point lead. Yeah, so obviously danger zone time a little bit for Oakland. Got to finish this half strong. It's the guy you want to get it to, Hill Mays. And Hankins got to be careful. He's got those two fouls. Nice defense from Castlin to steal it. And Hankins in transition. It's going to be a block. Oh, no. Offensive foul against Hankins. And that will be his third. That's huge. But what was interesting on the defensive end, finally came with a double team. Castlin came on the bounce. And then that's a good call. I mean, Hankins coming down, full head of steam. 
Cumberland was set. It's a big swing there. So not just for the final 240 of the first half, but Hankins with three fouls could have an impact on what we see after halftime. A nice pass inside and a whistle and a foul as Beck was trying to get it up on the glass. Najee Marshall picks up his first. Go look at Marshall. I mean, he has all these guys. Have, the body fat seems to have gone down since seeing them a year ago. I mean, this team has really gotten after it in the summer in regards to their bodies, the strength. It's one of the identities of Xavier's program. Certainly a rough, tough, rugged team that really does a lot in the weight room. Sometimes it's about adding strength and weight. Sometimes it's about trimming up. A guy like Tyreek Jones has lost a ton of weight. And it's allowed him to play extended minutes. That's all part of the college game now, isn't it? I mean, uh, your nutrition, your rest, your, your, your work in the weight room. I mean, so much goes into becoming the player and the team you want your guys to become. I think things have changed. Dana Altman used to feed us Arby's sandwiches before the game. I don't think that's on the, <laughs> on the menu anymore for these guys. Scruggs. On the bounce, kicks it out. James missed the shot. Oakland pushes. Two minutes to play in the first half. Hill Mays gets it in. Not going to stop the big fellow when he gets it that deep. He's got 20 points. Six of the eight games this season, he's gone for 20 or more. Uh, uh, this has been impressive. I mean, right now, Xavier, Xavier doesn't know what to do with him. I mean, he is hurting him in the post, driving to the basket, getting guys in foul trouble. Castlin for three, short. 90 seconds left in the first half. Good opportunity here. You said the three minutes. Who's going to make the little run here at the end of the half? And Oakland has held its own. Even though they missed a couple of free throws, big basket by Hill Mays, and we'll see what they do on this possession. The finishing halves and beginning the second half always really important. Hill Mays, this time with the left hand. He's got 22. And Travis Steele wants a timeout. Now this cat right here, Mike. He's six points, and he's keeping the Golden Grizzlies close to the Xavier Musketeers here in the final minute of the first half here in Cincinnati. You want to find Wellich for an open three if you can against this Oakland zone. Gooden, he'll shoot the three. Missed it off the back of the iron. Scruggs get the rebound. Kept it alive, but they couldn't corral it. And here's Norris. See it. Coach Campy yelling two for one. Got an opportunity here. Go quick. Cumberland. Norris. Brief opening. Gets it to Hill Mays. The left hand can't get it. Gets his offensive rebound. A rear mishand, rare mishandle for Scruggs. In and out, no good from Cumberland, and it's another opportunity. And now the shot clock is off, and Campy says, we want one shot. Now, in fact, he's going to call for a timeout to set something up with 16.8 left. Let's well, play. And certainly, you know where this ball is going. This is going to go to Xavier Hill Mays. Shot clock is off. Final seconds of the first half. Oakland with the basketball. Just an ISO, Vince. And there he is. Air ball. Xavier's going to get a shot at it. Marshall drives it, shoots it, and can't get it down. Xavier goes to the final. Second chance points, I think, is a huge, huge part of the first half, and will play a big role in this second half here. And obviously, slowing down Xavier Hill Mays is going to be the first order of business for Xavier. 22 first half points for 14 in black. As Xavier 24 to 12 in the paint in that first half, 15 to 2 in second chance points. I mean, they really controlled the blue area of the court. Tried to force it into Quentin Gooden and stolen away. Yeah, Oakland comes out in a zone. Xavier a little disjointed. Probably had a man-to-man -man set drawn up. Turns it over. Some of going to be interesting, Vince, is whether or not Xavier wants to come with a double team or not. I, I think. You got to try to go get the ball out of Hill Mays' hands when it goes into him. 
Shot clock under 10. Three on the way from Newman is off the mark, and here comes Xavier on the push. Oh, tried to get it up to Marshall and stolen by Newman. Good acceleration from Newman to sprint back. Norris tried to force it in to Hill Mays, and it's given away. So both teams trading turnovers here to open the second half. Five turnovers for Xavier and four for Oakland in this game. It's been a pretty well-played game up into this last <laughs> minute 15. <laughs> Slowing down a little bit, but the other thing with doubling Hill Mays is Xavier's bigs are in foul trouble. Hankins has three and Jones has two. When you come with a double team two, you can help alleviate some foul issues. Well, good defense from Scruggs to get it from Brechting and score. Paul Scruggs. They feel like between Scruggs, Gooden, and Marshall, there's a really good defensive potential in the backcourt. Scruggs gets the steal and the easy one. What matchup here between Hill Mays and Jones, and it's a block on Jones, and that will be number three. Yeah, you're in a tough spot. And here's the thing, when you're starting to do that as a post defender, you're starting to kind of show that you're not overly confident in the garden, where you're just saying, okay, I need, to, I need to just hope the official bails me out here. Close one, usually, especially at home, you get that call. But Jones will have to sit down, and so you bring in Hankins, who also has three personal fouls. So Hankins is going to have to guard Hill Mays again. Oh, Scruggs with a great defensive play. Paul Scruggs making a couple of plays on the defensive end and coast to coast for the sophomore from Indianapolis. Gorgeous. Understanding scouting report, little pet play out of the baseline of bounds. Read it, steal it, push it, finish it. Nine point advantage for Xavier. Matches their largest lead. Hill Mays can't get the roll. Zach uh, Nashi Marshall pulls down the rebound. Hankins guarded by Beck. Scruggs can shoot, but he likes to put it on the floor. Nice two-man game here with Hankins. And counts the basket. Hoop and the foul, giving Xavier its largest lead of the game. Well, look how high the release point is on this little jump hook. He's six foot eleven. We'll start with Scruggs. Great push, good read. Seeing that Norris was creeping out to the three-point line. But look how high this is. So six eleven. Put it all the way up top on the jump hook. Can't block it through the contact in the lower body. Potentially three to hard way. Good look at Hankins. 6'11", 245 pounds. Missed the free throw to convert that three-point play. What a great addition to the Xavier program. Hankins has been and will be this year. Not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end. But he's got his hands full right now defensively, trying to shut down Hill Mays. Hard to do that when you've got three fouls. Hard to do that when you have no fouls, much less when you have three. Norris lets three fly. Got it. Boy, this kid is something else. Coaches keen from three-point range this season. It's incredible. I mean, it really is. Early stages, second half. Xavier in white, Oakland in black. Hankins inside, and there's a foul as he got swatted across the face. You know, Travis Steele is really good with the dry race I mean, again, he was Xavier's... Basically, the offensive coordinator when Chris Mack was here. And that is an outstanding set play against this zone. Pretty creative to get a little screen for Gooden to hit it and find Hankins. I, I think that steals strength as a coach is his offensive creativity. Well, Hankins missed both free throw attempts. Last time to the line trying to convert that three-point play. Missed it, and that one was a bad miss. He's a better shooter than that and shows it on that free throw. So Hankins has 11. And the lead is 9. Job by Hankins. Edge, recover. A front hill maze. Good possession so far for Hankins. Maddox, short. 
Scruggs pulls the rebound. And foul. Boy, Paul Scruggs gets it from the defensive end to the offensive end in a hurry. And it's strong, big-bodied guard. Travis Steele kind of compares him to Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics, and he's kind of in that mold, about 6'5", six 6'4", six long arms. And when he gets going with a head of steam, he puts so much pressure on the defense. He's had a really good start to the second half here on both ends of the floor. Scruggs was an outstanding high school player in Indianapolis, played at Southport High School. His high school teammate was Joey Brunk, who's having a great start to the season for Butler, the big fella. I'd imagine that high school team won a few games. Uh, they did indeed, yeah. They, a good one. Scruggs, double figures. He's got 10. The lead is 11. Matches the largest lead of the day for Xavier. Newman tries to find an opening and... A foul underneath, and that Hankins would be four. Good job working to front and minimize his ability to even catch the basketball. Kamari Newman misses the first of two. Transfer from George Mason. Missed them both. Well, if you're Oakland, you've got to take advantage of those opportunities. And margin for error moving forward, pretty slim. Castlin and Gooden, along with Najee Marshall, Paul Scruggs, and Tyreek Jones on the floor for Xavier. Musketeers in white, the Golden Grizzlies of Oakland in black. Scruggs the spin and leaves it for Tyreek Jones. Rebound pulled down by Jordan Nobles. Long three on the way. Got it. Nothing but net from Kamari Newman. But Coach Campy raved about Kamari Newman's ability to shoot the ball and score. And you can see the confidence. Let that one go from deep. It's a big shot. And those transition threes, something Xavier's been working on in practice to not allow so many of them. Castlin missed the 12-footer and the rebound pulled down by Newman. Eight-point Xavier advantage. Oakland's done a nice job just hanging around, mainly because of the play of Xavier Hill Mays, who has 22 right now in a real battle down low with Tyreek Jones. And Hill Mays is really upset with the way he's being defended down there, asking for the call from the official, not getting it. Norris lets three fly and hits it again to beat the shot clock. And this kid... What a shooting display he's put on this season and here today. A couple of threes allowing Oakland to hang around. We keep saying the stat. I mean, 17 of 20 this season from three-point range as Marshall answers. Xavier's got a problem solve against this zone. And getting the ball right in the middle of that lane and that Big East logo is a good spot. And Marshall probably the most comfortable there to be able to make plays. Najee Marshall now double figures. He's got 10. Averages 13 a game. Well, Hill Mays has not been able to get the basketball. Now he's got position on Jones. See what he does with it. When he, his, when he touches it, it's pretty much over right now. And, and that's the thing that Xavier's done a good job of so far is not allowing him to touch. Starts with rooting him away from the basket, working the front. 8-2 run for Oakland. Xavier looking to answer. Marshall kicks it to Scruggs. Behind the back pass to Gooden. Shot clock at 5. Jones has that knocked away and a foul on Xavier Hill Marshall. Or uh, Xavier Hill Mays. Uh, Hill Mays and Jones have really been battling down low. You see on the reversal... Phil Mays, see that little move to get the position, and then it's just ripe and go. And Jones has three personal fouls, so there's not a whole lot he can do, and Hill Mays understands that, so when he does get the ball, he's going right to the rim. Tyreek Jones just 57% from the free throw line this season. <laughs> Young guy problems. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm always jealous of those guys that gotta eat like 8,000 calories a day and gain weight. 
jealous of that. Paul Scruggs will be called for the foul. That's the second on Scruggs. 13 minutes to play here in the ballgame. Early stages, second half. Six-point advantage for Xavier. But Oakland has done a nice job. Remember, if you're just joining us, this Oakland team lost about everything from last year. I mean, less than 5% of their offense returned from a year ago. It's like starting over for Coach Greg Campy. And they have been everything and then some that Xavier's wanted as Newman knocks down another three. Second three-pointer of the half for Newman. Xavier goes zone to the 1-3-1 look that kind of falls back to a 2-3 and lose Newman and buries one. So imagine Travis Steele probably come out of that zone now. Conte Kennedy looked at it. Gooden and Kennedy now on the perimeter. Shot clock under 10. Gooden goes baseline and gets the floaters. See what Xavier wants to do now. They stick with the zone or come back man. It's like they're back matched up. Check that. Uh, Quentin Gooden didn't get the call. Now they're back man. Newman feeling the hot hand with a couple of threes here in the second half. Xavier trying to lock down defensively, and the shot by Nobles was off the mark. Baited into that one. Not a good shot. Three on the way from Kennedy off the back of the iron. Both these teams, where their offense has come from, completely different spots. Xavier's getting its production from the blue area, the paint. Oakland getting its offense from beyond the three-point line. And the ball's got to get reversed below the free throw line extended so the ball can go there. Hill Mays wanted to take Tyreek Jones. Instead gets it to Jordan Norris, but he can't finish. Or Braden Norris, excuse me, couldn't finish. Scruggs spins, leans, and almost got it. Wanted the call, didn't get it. Team's getting up and down the floor now. Cumberland three, short. Kennedy rebounds. Some tired guys on the floor right now. Xavier scored the first six points to open up the second half and had a nice little run going, in fact, with a 9-3 to three run to open the second half. Built that lead to 11, but right now it sits at 5 after Oakland has fought back with a couple of threes. Gooden creates a little space, but the shot is short. Hill May saves it in. To the basket for an easy deuce is Cumberland. Javen Cumberland. It's a 13-5 run for Oakland. Line Xavier has outscored Oakland by 18 in the paint. Oakland has outscored Xavier by 21 from the three-point line. That contrasting styles on full display. And this zone's bothered Xavier a little bit, Vince. Scruggs bounced it at the feet of Tyreek Jones. Somehow Jones came up with it, ended up drawing the foul. Really impressed with Tyreek Jones, and, and you mentioned it, it, the weight loss in the offseason and getting himself in better condition. But, I mean, this is a guy that can do it on both ends. I mean, we talk about Marshall maybe being the next star of this program. I don't think Tyreek Jones is far behind. No, when, when I think of a Xavier big man, I think of Tyreek Jones uh, in, in terms of how he's built. Rough, tough, rugged, physical, can rebound, can score right at the rim, and he kind of fits the prototype of what... Xavier big guys are supposed to be and, he, and he's just got a great attitude Great personality very vocal at practice Just a guy that you love to have on your team The junior makes both free throws he's got 11 You mentioned that 20 rebound game he had earlier this season against Evansville first time a Xavier player had 20 rebounds in a game since David West all the way back in 2001 Good company to be in. And he's doing a nice job not letting Hill Mays catch. Working to front. And Hill Mays has been quiet. Xavier Hill Mays had 22 in the first half, just two here in the second half. And now he's got the ball again. And Scruggs is third steal of the second half.
Marshall for three. Chased down by Kasslin. Well, the second chance opportunities have been huge for Xavier today. A 15 to 2 advantage in that statistic. A bad spacing. Kasslin and Wellage on top of each other on the kick out. Jones trying to make room, but on the floor, Braden Norris reached in and swatted at the arm of Tyreek Jones. First foul on Norris. Take another look at it, just wrestling inside. These two guys have been paying it all afternoon. They're going to be tired. They're going to know they did something today. And there's an inside foul. It's going to be called on Scruggs. And that would be the third on Paul Scruggs. So Scruggs making a difference defensively with three steals here in the second half. But now he, too, is in a bit of foul trouble for Coach Travis Steele. And, and foul trouble has a way of taking away of your, your aggression defensively. And it's where you just got to be intelligent if you're Scruggs and move on to the next play. It's a heck of a play from Norris, though, recognizing that he was in trouble. They had to get in position and take the charge. Whistle and a foul inside, right. and Scruggs. that's going to go against Scruggs yeah. again. Sills wasn't going to get a basket or anything like that. He was just cutting through the lane. So Scruggs to the bench, and Gooden is back in. Battle for it, and it's fought for, and a turnover. Wellage needs some help. Marshall has it taken away by Norris. It's getting physical here at Centa Center. Hill Mays. Like a little bit of fatigue in that shot. Well, and he just had to have the ball a lot. Hill Mays' touches have plummeted in the second half and is short on the first clean look from beyond the arc. Marshall off the back of the iron. Gets his own rebound from the three-point line and draws the foul. No greater example right here than how much the shooter is sometimes the best offensive rebounder because they know where they missed it. Marshall knew exactly where that ball was going to come off the rim, so he sprinted after his shot from beyond the arc and draws the foul. Third foul on Jordan Nobles as Marshall misses the first of two. Here comes Trey Maddox back into the game. Trey Maddox, an interesting story. I mean, he's a terrific high school football player. Got some big-time offers to play college football. Yeah, some Power Five schools, Syracuse. So, I mean, certainly an athletic kid. So, Marshall... Missed the first, but was there a lane violation? I think a lane violation yeah. called Coach Campy not happy with that. So it gives Marshall an opportunity, really three to make two, and he converts. I mean, those are those kill you, you know, on the road, trying to get a big win. Can't have those. Seven-0 run as Tyreek Jones steals it. So Xavier doing it on both ends, and there's a whistle and now a foul called on Kamari Newman. Wow. Here, Oakland has to exhaust all options to try and get Hill Mays back involved offensively. Castle now three of three from the free throw line today. Nine of 12 from the strike. Here in the second half, adding to that number. 10 of 13 now from the free throw line for the Musketeers in the second half. They've really done a nice job getting to the free throw line. That's been a struggle for Oakland. Just two free throws here in the second half. And a whistle and a foul going the other way. So Xavier with the basketball and a nine-point advantage after that lengthy break to uh, figure that out in regards to the, the foul call. Castlin with the ball and now Gooden. Along with Wellage, Nachi Marshall, and Tyreek Jones. Zone defense for Oakland. Gooden had the three for a moment, passed it up. Marshall now kicks to the corner. 
Shot clock about to expire. Nachi Marshall's got to let it fly and does. Rebound pulled down off the miss by James Beck. It's a good possession offensively, though, for Xavier. Multiple guys touching it. Ball move. It's a good inside-out three for a guy in Gooden that can knock that down. This is a point in the game, though, where you really get a feel like Oakland's got to do something here, don't they? No question about it. Cumberland off the screen. Air ball. Well defended by Wellage. Castlin, nobody's there to defend him, so he takes it. Stop, pop, and can't get it. Maddox collects. Again, you, you have to find a way to get Hill Mays the ball. And the ball's got to go inside. Well, he was open, and they missed him right there off the start of the play. I understand it's a design play, but he was wide open in the middle of the floor. Maddox lets it fly, missed the three, back rebounds. Maddox again, can't get it. Hill Mays fights for it and finishes. Hard earned for Hill Mays, and now he's down on the ground. If you can't get the ball offensively, you've got to go get it yourself, and that's crashing the glass. So Hill Mays on the bench. We'll see if Oakland can make some hay, not just offensively, but keep Xavier in lockdown defensively. Gooden fires it in for Hankins. Hankins tried to dunk it, missed it, and Kesslin was right there for the rebound. Kesslin now with a half dozen. Now, if you're Xavier, this is going to be a three-point jump shot more than likely. But with, without Hill Mays on the floor, you got to defend the three-point line. Baseline drive. Shot put up and off the mark by Cumberland. Nine-point advantage approaching the five-minute mark. Leading scorer Xavier Hill Mays on the bench for Oakland after that cramp in his leg. Nice dish from Marshall to Hankins, but Hankins couldn't corral it. Was called for the travel. So Xavier Hill Mays now will check back in. He'll limp in a little bit, and oftentimes once it starts to cramp, it sometimes will not stop. So see how effective he can be. Got a. Media time, timeout coming up in about 40 seconds. And remember, Hankins, who's guarding Hill Mays, has four fouls. Got to be a little bit careful down low if you're Xavier, and all the more reason to get it to Hill Mays if you can, because you know Hankins has got to be careful defensively. And there he is, the left. That's just a great bucket from Hill Mays. Well timed. And then Norris on time on target. You know those. Windows are going to close quickly. So it's Hill, good execution from Oakland. Hill Mays has got 28. Career high is 30. He had 22 in the first half. They have been hard to come by here in the second half. Hankins to Wellage. That's his spot. Oh, that was an air ball. He can't believe it. But he was so wide open. He loves that shot. Hill Mays again tried to throw across the back, and it was stolen by Gooden. Great defense for Quentin Gooden. And he puts the no-look pass on the floor to Kesslin, who is fouled. It's going to continue for the final three minutes and 42 seconds. As Xavier, I feel like if you make your free throws, you don't turn the ball over, and you rebound, you're in a pretty good spot. Kesslin makes the first of two. He's got five points. The graduate transfer from Columbia. Only the second best athlete in his family. His sister <laughs> won a bronze medal in the hurdles at the 2016 Olympics. Impressive. So the lead is back to nine for Xavier. Trying to close it out. Three and a half minutes to play. Boy, Jones is working his tail off. Running through various cross screens to keep the ball out of Hill Mays' hands. Cumberland finds Beck. James Beck, the sophomore from Grand Rapids. Big basket for Oakland. We just get so focused on where Hill Mays is at that you lose sight of other guys and a good play from Cumberland to get a piece of the paint.
Xavier by seven. Three minutes to play, and Kesslin finds an easy lane to the basket. Strength going through the arms of some Oakland defenders. Kesslin scored the last eight points for Xavier. Averages just five a game, and Hill Mays equals his career high now with 30. Third time this season, Xavier Hill Mays has had 30 points. This guy's going to put up big numbers in the Horizon League this year. Yeah, he's been spectacular, but got to think about rebounding now if you're Oakland. Marshall put it on the ground in the paint, and it's swarmed, and then Paul Scruggs is going to be called for the foul. He's on the bench with four fouls for Xavier. You take a wild guess where this basketball is going to try to go. Approaching the two-minute mark. Oakland trying to get inside to Xavier Hill Mays and cut down this lead. Norris shoots the three. The freshman Braden Norris, he's got 14. It's a four-point game. The confidence. That was very contested. Now, if you're Xavier, you've got to get the ball in the middle of the floor. You'll have numbers behind it. So keep an eye on Marshall and Gooden working around the paint. 90 seconds to play. Blocked by Hill Mays. Scramble for it underneath. Last touch by Oakland. Xavier will probably been wins at least two of the three for sure. Yeah, figuring out how to close games. Pretty big possession here. Marshall will be able to ice up. Marshall, the spin and finish. And that's what your star players do. Nothing fancy. Just throw it over the top to Marshall and let him attack. Marshall's got 14. That was a huge basket. Newman lets three fly. Missed it. And the foul. Well, it's against Wellich. Take another look at it underneath, just battling for the board. It's a wrestling match down there, and Wellich got caught holding. So Beck goes to the free throw line after the foul on Wellich, and he's going to shoot the one and one Big free throws right here. Got to capitalize on the opportunities on the road. Have an underdog on the road. You gotta make them. Yeah. They have made the free throws. Had a lane violation earlier. Under a minute to play. Xavier trying to protect a six point lead. Have to block out, Vince, if you're Oakland. Shot clock at three. Wellage. Trying to answer. In and out, no good. And Tyreek Jones clears the rebound. And a foul. With 26 seconds to play, and some of the fans trying to beat the traffic. Ken for the exits, feeling comfortable now about this one as Gooden misses the free throw. And Wellich going to the bench after that big time three pointer. Travis Steele yesterday when we were talking to him and, and didn't he say I feel like Wellich could have a big game This is the kind of game where he could shine Absolutely as good makes a second you know it could be matchup based for Wellich and how he has success from game to game Did a big one Long three on the way and off the mark by Newman and the rebound pulled down offensively by Beck. Now Norris lets three go off the mark as well and Norris pulls down the board and that will about do it. The final seconds ticking away. Boy, what a game. I mean, this was a, a fist fight. Xavier made plays down the stretch. Aslan, Wellich.